for the last time. There's 220 to the 7th of December on my TV, secular. Mm -hmm. The problem I have here, knowing that he's a drug addict, knowing that he's a drug they don't lie. They're obvious. You can look at them. And you can look at a set of books. What's going on guys? I'm on my way to Rep's Gym in Preston. Not been there in a while since I started working in Altrincham, but um, I think it's like the best kind of place to go um, training wise. I mean, I've been training at Pure Gym for the past um, two months now. And I'm not saying that my training's decreased by, a t by, a by any means, but what's, what I have found is that I'm kind of lacking some form of motivation. So I need to get myself in an environment where, like a, a more of a bodybuilding environment. So I think the only thing I should be doing right now uh, is heading over to reps where it all started. Well, it didn't really all start there, but you know what I mean. I trained a lot of there. I trained a lot there while I was on prep for a few of my shows. So I'm gonna head over to reps. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't even got any form of a routine today. Like the only reason I'm training today is 100% just pure therapy. So I haven't even decided yet. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna get some footage. I don't give a shit how busy it is. I'm gonna be getting some footage today because I have been lacking so bad in the YouTube department. So we're gonna get some footage for you guys. And I'll probably do a commentary or something, I don't know. So I'll see you guys at the gym. One thing's for sure though, like... Recently, like the whole YouTube thing is becoming a lot more um, accepted. However, when people see you doing it in a gym, they kind of like double take and wonder what the fuck this guy's doing when they know full well that the guy is obviously recording a workout. I would never look at anyone in a funny way. If they're filming a workout, then they're filming a workout. There's nothing wrong with that. But there are a lot of people out there that seem to have an issue with this. Um, and for those of you out there that are like struggling to um, make YouTube content because of what others think. I know this isn't going to be helpful, but li literally, like, the best advice is just do it anyway. The, the worst they can say is, like, laugh at you and make you feel like an idiot. But at the end of the day, if you need to make a video, that's what you've got to do. You do that. You, f you get a tripod. You set it up. Don't give a shit what anyone else in that gym thinks. And I know it's not going to help. You've got to get over that physical fear of doing it. And uh, I've been doing YouTube since 2014 and the reason why my videos aren't as consistent is simply because of what other people think. Um, you just need to get out that mindset of what other people think. I know it's hard, but uh, there's nothing more to it other than that. So yeah, let's, uh, like I am going to be getting some footage tonight regardless, don't give a shit. Let's go. This road is literally never busy. Why are there so many cars today? I'm honestly so stupid because I was too, I was too busy uh, vlogging while driving, which you should never do, by the way. Um, I, I drove the complete wrong direction, so I've been stuck in traffic for about five minutes, realizing that I was going the complete wrong direction. So I've just turned around now, and uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll get there faster. Hey guys, welcome to today's commentary. So, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there was really no structure to this workout. As soon as I got into the gym, uh, I just pretty much wanted to focus on compound movements because for those who know what I'm like in the off season, I love my power based movements. I'm only just getting back into the habit of squatting again. I'm obsessed with deadlifts and I love my bench press and my strength is continuously going through the roof uh, throughout my training. So I started off with squats, I just warm up with the, the body weight, just you know, get the motion going. Um, I used to just squat with the bar and then go on, but I thought, you know what, rather than just doing that, I'll leave the 60 kilos on the bar and do five by five on each exercise, um, each set, sorry. 
So starting off with just warming up with just the body weight and then I go up with 20 plates. Now because I haven't squatted in such a long time, my squat is not that great. I think my squat is actually at the moment, at this moment in time, matching my bench press, which is humiliating to admit. But um, the most I've done on squats is 160, so I'm gradually getting my uh, way back up there. And by doing that, I'm doing the five by five method. Uh, as it gets heavier, I and I realise that I can't go any heavier than uh, that weight. I will probably drop it down slightly. Uh, so like here right now I'm doing 130 kilos and I believe I just got two reps out with that um, while trying to maintain correct posture while doing so. I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and get 140 because I have done 140 for a few reps before and I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, bearing in mind, this is like the second squat session I've done in months and uh, I'm actually finding the love for it again like I genuinely do enjoy squatting so you can see there's a bit of a grind but uh, we still got there uh, I had to force my hips forwards to complete that lift but I'm happy with it so after I did that then we went on to uh, bench press and I always like to do explosives on the way up uh, with just the bar I treat it like as a heavy weight and just pretty much just get a little bit of a warm-up going getting used to the motion and then I'll add on uh, 60 kilos and um, again, I don't. I never do too many reps on bench at the mo at this moment. When I'm doing like power based compounds uh, on the bench press, it's literally just a minimum of five to six repetitions, and then I'll rack it. Even though it's re really light, I then straight away go on to 100 kilos. And what I love about the fa uh, about doing these this method of training is my strength is continuously going through the roof, and um, and it's not decreasing at any point, regardless of my diet, which is hard to believe but I remember the first time I tried doing 100 kilos bench press and oh my god it was actually so hard now it's pretty easy I could easily get this for reps right now but at the same time I thought I'm gonna keep the weight the rep range quite low and see how far I can push myself in this session without a spot so then straight away I went up to 110 kilos so there are five kilo plates on the end um, not really too sure how many I was going to get, to be honest with you. Um, if I did have a spot, it would have been better. But at that moment in time, there was no one in the gym. There was about two or three people in the gym, so I just had to go with my own instincts. So, I think I got five, actually. Yeah, I got five reps, and I was very happy with five uh, reps on 110 kilos with no spot. You've always got to look back at where you came from. Always. So, I've just done... 110 for five and I'm contemplating whether or not to do 120 but I haven't got a spot the gym is empty there's no one here to spot me so I'm gonna go for 120 but I doubt I'll get five so and after that I'm gonna drop it down to 100 and then I'll wrap it out to 60 so as I was saying about how you've always got to look back at where you come from like I remember the very first time I benched a hundred and it was so heavy it's the equivalent to my 140 bench now and for those who don't know, I have actually benched 140 for three before, so seeing how far you've come does help motivate you. Uh, so here I am doing 120, and I believe I got two reps. Now, I've done 120 for more than two reps in the past, but obviously after just repping out 110 for five, uh, a lot of my fatigue would have come from that. So rather than going any heavier, uh, I think, which I thought would have been a stupid idea, I then just took the templates off, and then went straight back down to 100 and it surprised me how light this felt after doing 120 um, I was expecting to be really worn out by now but uh, it, I, I surprised myself and um, it felt really good like it's 100 kilos really comfortable for me right now so I'm really you know I'm, I'm just loving benching at the moment so the last set I dropped I took the 20 plates off and went back to 60 and what I do is I just rep them out um, keeping it nice and controlled but speed quite consistent at the same time uh, just to get that little bit of a burn which is a bit different from the rem the previous sets obviously but it was just a good finisher uh, I expected to be able to do more but to be honest with you I felt pretty tired at this point so after I did bench I was planning on doing deadlifts but the gym that I was at at the moment there was no um, the gym just basically installed some uh, strongman equipment and there was a few guys playing around with it, 
which was literally right next to the deadlifting platform. So I thought I'd be a top guy and just leave them to it and just do a few little isolations. And I found this chest press and I thought, you know what, I'm going to play on that. You know, sometimes it's all good to just, like, sometimes it's good, you know, to, uh, some people might disagree with me when I say this, but sometimes you have those days where you just want to go in the gym and you just want to fuck around. You want to lift some weights, you want to just get, a, you, want to, you want to feel good. So just play around with whatever weight, whatever a piece of equipment you feel like doing. So I did like three sets of these, I only filmed two, and then I just did a running of the rack with the dumbbells. Um, a running of the rack, for those who don't know, is a, a great way to add detail onto your shoulders. Um, it's basically, uh, you start with a minimum weight, I'd probably start off with a 5 kilo dumbbell to an 8 kilo dumbbell, and just do laterals, probably till 10 to 12 reps, or even failure if you really want, and then every time you've done a set, go up in the weight, so rather than having, maybe have like 20 to 30 seconds rest in between, and then if any, if you do decide to rest, or if you would like to just continuously go up, and that's fine by me, um, obviously, but uh, yeah, then obviously pick up another dumbbell that's heavier, and then continue the process, and you know, you'll probably get like three or four sets until you run out, some people's side laterals are a lot like stronger, uh, I don't really see the point in doing side laterals uh, with heavy dumbbells, personally. Uh, leave the heavy lifting for like the overhead presses and things like that. Uh, you shouldn't really need to go too heavy with side laterals. But um, yeah, probably working my way all the way up to maybe 14, 16 at a push. And then once you've run that, then you come back down. And on the way back down, try and hit the same number of repetitions each time. Uh, for what reason? Uh, just it's a personal preference, really. You don't necessarily need to, but it's just uh, it just it's just better that way. Uh, I think I got a bit mixed up with the recordings, uh, but because my workout wasn't really that planned, I think I only did like three to four sets of uh, side laterals uh, of the rack. Um, but overall, like it was a great way to end the workout. After I did the workout, I then did 50 minutes of cardio, uh, just because I I feel like I needed to walk around a lot more. Um, and I'm just gradually working the cardio back into my routine, just trying to get used to walking on a treadmill again, because for the off-season, I always do lack cardio. It's bad, you shouldn't do it, but I do. <laughs> um, show dates have been released, obviously, so back on the grind, I guess. Prep starts February. So that's it for this commentary, guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, focus. Okay, guys, my battery is literally about to die. I've just left the gym. It is 20 past 6. Um, finished off doing a bit of cardio. Uh, only 15 minutes low intensity. And I did some like, a, little bit, a little bit of a shoulders, as you can see um, back there. So right now, I'm going to head over to Asda, just get some little snacks to eat tonight. And uh, I've actually pre-prepped my meals. So at the moment, like, nothing too serious. But today, I'm literally just having uh, raw kale and chicken breast. That's literally all I'm having today. So I thought I'd go to Asda, give myself some snacks. And then, um, you know, still in the off-season. So I'm not going to be too strict at the moment. But uh, gradually increasing cardio. And focusing a lot more on the compounds, as you can see from this work from this workout. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. My, if I don't film anymore until I get home, it's probably because my, my camera is literally dead. So I will catch you guys later on. What's up guys? So it has been a while since the previous clip, a couple of hours actually. Um, but to, to be honest with you guys, you've not missed much uh, literally since I got back from the gym. I've been chilling at home. Um, I watched two podcasts uh, and I also read a couple of pages uh, in my book that I'm reading at the moment, at the beginning of the year, 2016, my New, Year's uh, my New Year's resolution was to read more books. I read like three books and then I stopped. Um, but I'm going to get back into that habit of uh, reading more. Uh, and yeah, so I've actually currently edited the video, the, the, the vlog that you're watching right now. Um, and then I'm just going to add towards it. I still need to do the commentary, uh, which I'm about to do pretty much now. And um, I think I'm going to call this, uh, this vlog, finish this vlog here. So, um, reason for that is like, I don't really like doing, uh, filming one vlog over the space of a couple of days. I like to do a vlog within that day. So well, if, I, if I decide to vlog tomorrow, then I'm going to finish that vlog tomorrow. Uh, maybe in the future I might even spread it out a little bit, but it gets a little bit too confusing and um, 
Ideally, I like my vlogs to just be like one vlog, not a couple of different videos thrown into one vlog. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so if they do get a bit boring, uh, let me know in the comment section. You know, I'm always looking at ways to improve. I must admit, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that my uh, YouTube... Um, uh, I've, I've been a bit inactive on YouTube. Like I've just, lo I've, I feel like I've lost creativity um, because I'm focusing a lot more in other parts of life at the moment. Like for instance, I'm trying to kickstart my PT business up off the ground, um, as well as rebranding uh, the new brand as well. Um, and it's all quite time consuming, so it hasn't really given me enough time. Uh, well, actually, no, that's a lie. I've had plenty of time. I've just not had enough focus and energy to work towards making YouTube videos at the moment. Um, but I will be back, you know, I'll be making more eventually. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, the whole purpose of it was for the workout. And um, I'm literally just about to film the commentary, uh, film the commentary now for you, uh, which I'm going to be putting over the um, workout. So you've already seen the commentary, which <laughs> is so confusing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. But um, if anyone has any, like, advice or questions or tips for me, um, to improve on my YouTube channel and to produce better content, um, by all means, my my ears are all oh, my my ears are open. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'll take it on and I'm, I'll apply it because I do want to make better content for you guys. Uh, you know, I'm so close to that 500 subscriber mark, and it would be a shame if I didn't get there. Um, it's not looking like I'm going to get 500 subs by Christmas, but if I can get them by the end of the year, then I've sort of semi-passed that short-term goal. So, um, again, really do appreciate the support, really do appreciate you guys subscribing and even clicking like or dislike or just the fact that you're watching this video, it really does mean a lot to me, so thank you very much for that. Um, but I really do enjoy reading the comments as well, um, especially people that put time and effort into leaving comments on the video. Um, it means a lot. So, um, I'm going to leave that video here. I need to get myself to sleep because it is really late. Um, I've got work tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so that's it guys. Thanks again for watching and I will hopefully see you all in the next video.